One of the most important things I've learned from writing excuses over the years, at least regarding ideas, is that writing actually breeds ideas. That the more you write, the more ideas will come. So you're not supposed to save your best idea for the next book, but rather write it now. As you write, more and more new ideas form, and they just keep getting better and better. But you're also not supposed to just abandon whatever story you're working on as you come up with these new and exciting ideas. First, you need to learn how to finish what you've started. So what do you do in the meantime? This is where the writing comes in again. Write the new ideas down. If you think of something cool in the middle of the night, in the middle of work, or in the middle of writing something else, write it down. This isn't just to make sure you don't forget it, but it actually lets you move on to other things, freeing up your mind for other thoughts and ideas, and allowing you to build on that other idea too. Otherwise, you just end up spinning the same idea around and around in your head indefinitely, or until you've forgotten it. All right, so what happens if it's not working for you? What happens if you feel like you can't write because your brain is just at a dead end? The Writing Excuses team has discussed a bunch of techniques for getting around this problem, but this one is my favorite. Just do exactly what I just did. Ask the question, what would happen if, and fill in the blank. The next step is to write down all of the possible consequences of this idea and look for the one that really piques your interest. Now you've got something cool, but maybe it's not quite good enough yet. So do the technique again and mix the two ideas. Now you've doubled the consequences and hopefully doubled the intrigue. All right, so now you're ready to write, but you're looking at a blank page and nothing is coming to you. Howard Taylor has a phrase that he calls a surefire cure for writer's block. And this is it. Butt in chair, hands on keyboard. Write something else, skip to the exciting scene, free write. With the understanding that writing breeds ideas, the goal is to write anything and let the ideas come. Now this is the part where the rule kicks in. Don't give up on that blank page. Don't open something else. Keep your butt in the chair and your hands on the keyboard because it's impossible to write if you aren't in front of your computer with the word processor open, or at least in front of some paper with a pen in hand. 